Well, welcome, everyone, and good morning. I sincerely appreciate you joining us this morning. I'm John Coates. I'm president of Surface Mining for Komatsu Mining Corp. We're excited that you could join us today in person or by video for our employees watching from our facility across town as we officially announce our vision for Komatsu Mining Corp here in Milwaukee's Harbor District in partnership with the state of Wisconsin, the city of Milwaukee, and our regional development leaders. I'd like to start by making a quick safety announcement. When you've been in the mining business as long as we have, you learn to put safety first and foremost. Driving for zero harm is part of our culture and what we do every day. And as you're walking about the site today, please remember that the land that we're on is not yet developed for general use, so watch your step. There's rough areas, be careful as you walk about, and be careful of uh, potential tripping hazards. Since Harnischfeger's founding in 1884, not far from here, we've been a proud part of Milwaukee's long history as a world-class manufacturing hub with a highly skilled workforce of engineers and machinists. In fact, the site that we're on today is just blocks from our very first machine and pattern shop over at South First Street in Florida. It was built by Alonzo Pauling and Henry Harnischfeger. And there's an image of that behind me on the wall. Over the years, our company has grown and evolved and changed names several times, from Harnischfeger to p &H Mining to Joy Global, and now proudly part of the Komatsu Group. Over this time, we've expanded our capabilities through broader product offerings and innovation and technology. But at our heart is a deep devotion to the, our core strengths of skilled machining, welding, and high quality manufacturing. Since April 2017, we've been a proudly part of the Komatsu family of companies, with Milwaukee serving as our corporate headquarters for Komatsu Mining Corp. We're extremely pleased that Wisconsin and Milwaukee also value this history, our PH brand, and our commitment to the Milwaukee community. Going forward, Komatsu intends that Milwaukee will continue to be the home of the Komatsu Mining Corp business and building on our heavy fabrication and machining competencies, the global center of excellence for PH shovels and drills, much like the small one that you see outside today, or our iconic shovel on Miller Parkway, or even the crane that you see across the harbor today. I'd like to welcome you this, to the podium this morning, Jeff Dawes, our president and CEO of Komatsu Mining Corp, to tell you more about those future plans for the Harbor District. Bueno, uh, good morning everyone and thank you John for that introduction, highlighting our strong history um, and commitment to Milwaukee. Thank you also to the many uh, city, state and regional representatives in attendance for this, uh, this announcement, as well as our employees back on site who are watching us live via video. Hi guys. As John noted, uh, we've been part of Milwaukee's manufacturing community for a long time, 134 years to be exact. And as we look to the years ahead, uh, we know we will continue to grow together as a provider of essential equipment and services. And as such, the time is right to make a strong investment in the city that's been our home for so many years. So I am very excited today to announce our intentions to build a state-of-the-art headquarters and manufacturing facility here on this property to be named South Harbour Campus. Partnering with the State of Wisconsin and the City of Milwaukee, we plan to invest uh, nearly $300 million in this new campus, reinforcing our commitment to Milwaukee as our large machining, heavy fabrication and engineering centre of excellence for p &H mining shovels and drills. The South Harbour campus, a concept of which is in the picture behind me here, is planned to include advanced manufacturing spaces, purpose-built office and technology facilities, a global training and conference centre, a museum to celebrate our history, and a city of Milwaukee public river walk adjacent to the campus here. This new location will provide exciting opportunities for collaboration, to advance our manufacturing capabilities and purposefully design a space that fits public and private needs for decades to come. It also offers us the opportunity to grow our employment base here over time. 
with plans to increase the number of permanent full-time employees in Milwaukee to approximately 1,000 family supporting jobs. We also spend millions of dollars each year with our outstanding Wisconsin supply chain partners with whom we'll continue to do business as we expand our operations. Our new facilities will be designed to prioritise sustainability as we plan to reduce energy consumption by 75% and water consumption by 80% compared to our current operations. We aim to achieve this by incorporating solar panels, wind spires, a remotely operated heat treatment system, green spaces, LED lightning, uh, lighting and, and other sustainable solutions. We look forward to leverage the latest technologies to expand our capabilities on a global scale, further reinforcing Milwaukee's important role as a hub for high quality manufacturing and engineering excellence. All of this is made possible by mining. At Komatsu, we are proud to say, possibilities become progress. We are revolutionising mining for a sustainable future together. Before I conclude, I'd like to extend a very, very special thanks to all the people who helped make this possible. The members of Milwaukee 7, the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce, the Milwaukee Development Corporation, the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, We Energies, Michael Best, Hickey & Associates, Avison Young, the Milwaukee Harbour District, uh, Milwaukee's Port Authority, the Village of West Milwaukee, the City of Milwaukee, and of course, the State of Wisconsin. Along with our great team at Komatsu, many of you played an essential role in helping us make this day possible, and we look forward to con continuing to work together and being a strong partner to the Harbour District as they lead the revitalisation of this important waterfront area. We are very excited to make this vision a reality. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jeff. Now I'd like to welcome another very strong partner and supporter of this exciting Harbor District development, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, good morning. The sun is shining all over Milwaukee today, uh, in large part because of what we're celebrating right here. To Komatsu, a heartfelt and genuine thank you very, very much um, for choosing Milwaukee. Go back to 1884 with Harnschweger and all the permutations that occurred over the last century plus. Um, the concern we always had with a new buyer is what's going to happen next, the uncertainty. And when the announcement was made that Komatsu was purchasing this iconic company, I was filled with trepidation, but when I went to the announcement, I thought, I think these guys are going to be all right. I think this is going to work out all right. Um, and it's worked out more than all right. It has been a fabulous win, I think, for you, certainly for this community, for this state, for everyone, um, because it's all about jobs. It's about creating jobs where people can support their families. And that's something that you have done and your predecessors have done. And I'm very confident that that's going to continue for many, many years into the future. But there's something else at play here. And I have to take a couple minutes, or I get to take a little minute, a couple minutes to talk about this, because this is so important to the city. Look at this site, an old coal plant, I mean, old coal pile, Solvay Coke, really abandoned for many, many years. We've had a vision. We've had a vision as a city to transform this part of the city of Milwaukee. That's what led to the creation of the Harbor District. And this announcement today, in many ways, completes the trifecta. Let me explain to you what I mean. I love to talk about Milwaukee being on America's fresh coast, that here we are at 20% of the world's freshwater supply, surface supply, just yards away from where we are. And we all, as we all know, there are three rivers that really form the backbone of this community. We have completed the trifecta of ensuring that our manufacturing presence, our business presence and future can walk hand in hand with sustainability. Look at the three rivers. The Milwaukee River, the work that we have done, 
Manpower, Bader Rudder, the Hamas Company, all the hundreds of apartments and condominiums right there because sustainability and business can work hand in hand. The Menominee Valley, the Menominee Valley Business Park, the Hank Aaron Trail, the Menominee River. Again, look at the theme, sustainability and business. Not enemies, partners. And today, the Kinnikinnick. Again, you've got great manufacturing, great business right next to this river. That's why we are so proud that we are going to have the longest extension of Riverwalk in the city's history as part of this project. That tells you how committed we are to making this a city that's attractive to business, but is also open to our residents so they can have access to this great water. This is something that didn't happen by accident. Rocky Marcou and his team at DCD spent hours and hours and hours trying to make sure that all the pieces of this puzzle would work. Jeremy McKenzie and Rachel Kennedy from the city attorney's office did as well. We know working with Tom Metcalf and We Energies, and one of the most important steps along the way was We Energies purchasing the Solvay Coke company. So Gail, I want to thank you for that. That was an important step to get us where we are today. To the state of Wisconsin, to Mark and your team, working with Rocky, working with Komatsu. But most importantly, to a thank you again to Komatsu for believing in this community, for investing in this community, and providing jobs where people can support their families. That's dignity. That's great for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mayor Barrett. Finally, please welcome, join me in welcoming one of the key leaders in bringing this project to life, our Wisconsin Governor, Scott Walker. Thank you. Well, thanks, John. You gave the safety tips. I listened in. I wore my safety boots, my safety clothes. I'm ready for construction site. And for all those employees watching, I know what it's like to, to be around the factory. And it's good to see you uh, there, as it will be when we see you again at this site. Congratulations, first and foremost, to Komatsu. And the mayor talked about sustainability. He's right. But this is also a reflection of partnership, right, of coming together in a partnership. Uh, you think about the proud history going back to 1884. I love the fact that for all the employees listening in, you're part of that history. Uh, and that's a history that uh, when we did the announcement uh, with Komatsu, we gave the leadership of Komatsu a, a flag of the state of Wisconsin. On that flag, uh, a flag that goes back all the way to 1863. The state started in 1848. But a few years later, in the middle of the Civil War, the soldiers at that time asked for a flag to uh, remind them of the family and friends and loved ones who were thinking and praying for them. On that flag was the seal of the state of Wisconsin, and on that flag are the symbols of agriculture, industry, manufacturing, and mining, uh, as well as maritime uh, that we see out here. And so how perfect for that to be connected and to think about just a few years after that flag was first designated in 1863, the beginning of what today is Komatsu and the employees who are listening in who are part of that her heritage going back to 1884 and through PH, Enjoy Global, and now Komatsu today, continuing, not just continuing what exists, but really looking forward. That too is on the flag, and I remember that too is part of the motto of Komatsu, just as it is of the flag on the flag in the state of Wisconsin, because it's our state motto. It's about looking forward. And so today we certainly celebrate the nearly $300 million announcement we're proud to be with, as Jeff just talked about a moment ago. Uh, it's going to be a spectacular campus for manufacturing, uh, for uh, headquarters, and for museum to talk about that heritage and history. But more than just the physical structure, it's all the employees who are listening in and all the families that benefit because of the nearly 700 jobs, good paying family supporting jobs that are being sustained through this announcement today. It's the over 400 jobs that are likely to come as this site develops and this company continues to grow here uh, and around the world. And it's the hundreds of jobs that will be related to this, related to this campus, both here in Milwaukee, throughout the M7, and across the state of Wisconsin, as well as the thousands of construction jobs that will be necessary to put this into play. And then, as was mentioned along the way, we, we looked just in this last year, Komatsu did business to the tune of about $150 million with Wisconsin-based companies. So it's not just the people working for Komatsu, it's all the other companies all across the state of Wisconsin that benefit. There's just like the ripples that we see in the water out 
just over the past year. That's the same effect that Komatsu has in terms of employment and impact and economic development all throughout the state of Wisconsin. So we're pleased today to make a significant investment. Uh, over the next 12 years, the state of Wisconsin will be investing $59.5 million in tax credits to the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation to make this project work. It's our partnership with the city of Milwaukee and the work that they're going to be doing with the Milwaukee Development Corporation and they're stepping up and playing a vital role and with our partners in the M7 looking at projects like this all over this region that not only help Milwaukee and the Milwaukee metropolitan area, they help people all across the state of Wisconsin. We could not be more thrilled and I too want to thank Mark Hogan and his team working together with the great team at Komatsu, with the M7, with the city of Milwaukee, Rocky and his folks. This is all about partnership. It's all about bringing people together. This is going to be a remarkable site, not only on the waterways, but just down the, just over from the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee's School of Freshwater Sciences and all the dynamic things that are happening here. We certainly are moving forward and we're proud that Komatsu is a key partner in moving Milwaukee and the state of Wisconsin forward. Congratulations. Well, certainly it's an exciting day for the people of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, the Harbor District, and Komatsu, and for all of our people who are watching together at the plant. We're so glad you could join us this morning as we take the next steps in this project now together to bring new investment and jobs to, that help keep us all moving forward. This concludes today's formal remarks. If those on stage could please remain, we're going to get together for an official photo, and then we'd invite members of the press to join us on the right side of the tent for any questions that you may have. Thank you to everyone for coming out today and for supporting this project. And please remember, be safe as you walk around and exit the property. Thank you very much. Thank you.